Please give it up, everybody, for Danny Boy! Hello! That last guy was quite good, wasn't he? Are you all enjoying your comedy festival? <laughs> Most of you. <laughs> the rest of you are clearly from Montreal. <laughs> this place, I've never been in a city before that's had so much going on in one calendar year. Just festivals all the time. Comedy festival, jazz festival, book festival, film festival. Montreal's like one giant kid with ADD that just... <laughs> Constantly needs to be entertained. <laughs> Try a night in. Do you know, I had a very embarrassing experience this morning. I'm going to share this with you. Absolutely true. Uh, the hotel I'm staying in, the hotel room I'm staying in, looks out into other hotel rooms, right? I didn't, you know, request that. <laughs> it's just the way it is, right? And there was a naked man walking around in his hotel room this morning. Now, I wasn't quite sure if he was naked or not at first, so I was kind of peering a wee bit, right? <laughs> now, not in a perverted way. I just thought, oh, maybe he's just got like a beige leotard on or something, right? <laughs> so I'm doing that, and then there was that horrible moment when he kind of turned round and saw me like that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, and he went, oh, you know. And it's really hard to explain, isn't it? I said, oh, I've, I've, I was just walking by, and I've, I've only been here like two seconds. I was just peeing. I thought you might have had a beige leotard on. <laughs> so I start uh, peeing like that. And then you turn round, what the fuck are you doing? I said, I've just been here two seconds. <laughs> and then... He gets the complete wrong end of the stick, right? This guy starts going, eh, I, I can see you too. I was like, oh, no, no, I don't want to see you. Eh, I want you to, eh, can, can you close your curtains? Can you close your curtains, please? He looked back and went, no. Pull your blind down. Can you pull your blind? It's awful, those moments. And then I suddenly thought, God, I've been watching a naked man for 20 minutes. <laughs> I could have just closed my curtains. <laughs> and what does this say about me? Is this a Freudian thing? Am I finding out I'm gay? You never know. You hear about these things, don't you? One guy, you just bang, you're gay like that. I thought, I'll check, right? I've been watching a naked man. There'll be some movement down here. So I had a little look down. Because I was naked as well. Did I mention that bit? <laughs> Did I not mention that bit? No, I didn't. Oh, that's quite important, that bit, right enough. <laughs> uh, I should have mentioned that bit. So it's lovely to be here in Canada. This is actually my second time here this year. I came here earlier on in the year. I did a bit of travelling. <laughs> as much as you can travel around Canada. This place is stupidly big. If you get in a car here and drive for nine hours, get out, look at a map, you haven't fucking moved! <laughs> What's all that about? You go, right, we were here, we've driven for nine hours, we must be somewhere over. Oh, come on, we're still here! Are you sure the engine was running? If you got in a car in Scotland, where I'm from, and drove for nine hours, you'd be in the heart of the Czech Republic. <laughs> you'd pass through eight countries. <laughs> and do you know what the first thing everyone said to me when I said I'm off to Canada? Everyone in Scotland said, watch out for the bears, Danny. <laughs> Followed by, if you see an angry bear, pretend to be dead. Are you sure? 
I won't be pretending for long. <laughs> it's a bear that's already angry. The last thing I should be doing is playing a practical joke on it. You know. <laughs> Can you, you imagine this thing? And you're, oh, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Everyone's got advice on dangerous animals, don't they? I've just come back from Australia. In Australia, there's, you know, there's dangerous animals everywhere in Australia. You know, you, you get up in the morning, you have to brush turtles off your face and <laughs> kick kangaroos out your bed. And they all look at you as if to say, not so friendly in the morning, are we, Danny? <laughs> but they, they, no, they, they don't, no. You know, kangaroos are amazing. Because when I first went to Australia, I thought a kangaroo was quite a sacred animal. I thought it was very rare. I thought, oh, will I see a kangaroo? Ooh, I thought it was like a leprechaun or something. But <laughs> they're all over the place. Thousands of kangaroos are killed on the roads in Australia every single year. I, th I think their feet are just too big for the pedals a lot of the time. <laughs> Little hands can't reach the steering wheel. <laughs> no. But they said, they said to me, watch out for the kangaroos, Danny, but just the male ones. If I've got time to check. I just, one of these things comes out, I go, hang on a minute, can I just frisk you for a dick? <laughs> you don't frighten me, madam. Come on, off you hop. <laughs> Do you know... <laughs> Do you know, actually, a kangaroo, you know a kangaroo is going to attack you. This is true, because it will suck its testicles. It, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> Into its body. Oh, it doesn't, I don't mean just suck its testicles. <laughs> That'd be a bit weird. I'm going to get you, pal. <laughs> right, come on, let's go. I, I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Into its body to protect them, you see? Oh, that... that. <laughs> Four of them. <laughs> That's a great thing, isn't it? I wish I could do that. Well, every, every bloke in this room wish you could do that. You'd be the toughest guy in Montreal. Just walking into any old pub, right? Which one of you guys is first? <laughs> you know, yeah, that's all we're scared of. But do you know my favourite my favorite story uh, of, of, of watching out for dangerous animals? And this is a true story. When I was up in the northern part of Australia, I wanted to go to Kakadu National Park, which is an amazing wildlife park. And the day before I was due to go on a safari there, I read on the news, uh, uh, watched on the news, that two crocodiles had sneaked into the tourist part of the park, right? On their own. I don't think they joined a tour. Um, <laughs> would have been a bit weird. Two, please. <laughs> Well, we definitely booked, you'll just have to check again. The, <laughs> the, do you know they're amazing creatures, crocodiles? Because they're, they're very fast. You think it looks slow, doesn't it, a crocodile? A crocodile is faster than a horse over the first hundred meters. Eh? I don't know how many horses it took to find that out. But... <laughs> <laughs> go on, you little beauty, go on, go on. Oh, oh unlucky, line them up, Barry. The, um, <laughs> but it's also a master of stillness. A crocodile can stay in one place for up to eight or nine hours. Did you know that? Just motionless, like that, just waiting for some, you know, German backpacker to... <laughs> Did, didn't read the news. Wurzing Matilda, Wurzing Matilda, Jarkum Wurzing Matilda. Yeah, Hans, look how close the art is of water. Why don't we camp here for the evening? Oh, why, why don't you? Why don't you indeed? <laughs> Come to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea, Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something, Hans. Do you think we are gay? <laughs> yeah, it certainly appears that way. <laughs> uh, have you noticed? Neither of us can talk without stroking our nipples. <laughs> yeah, I noticed this too. 
Anyways, let's get back to the story. Right. <laughs> so, there's two crocodiles on the loose, right? I thought, well, I'm going to go back to that guy I booked the safari with, check it's still OK to go, right? That was an almost an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the... Stop it. <laughs> this is my time you're wasting. <laughs> right, quickly. I'll go to the safari.